A big hello and thank you to our subscribers. And this time on Sailing Intermission, we are true liveaboards. Still hectic life with selling houses, cars, and boat shopping. But we are starting to have a little bit of normal life. So this time we were able to go sailing on Cakewalk. Karen was at the helm in a masterful way. We did a little night dancing, disco style. I like the lights. And Steve went to Florida. And did a sea trial on uh, this new boat. Pulled it out. Had a survey done. Of course it was raining there like it is here. And Steve took us down below for a tour. So Steve surprised me with these beautiful flowers as kind of a housewarming gift since we are totally 100% liveaboards now enjoying every minute of it, but I will say I kind of have the fever for this other boat. And so, hate saying that while I'm sitting here on Cakewalk, but Steve's gonna go out to Florida a couple days and look at the boat, survey. We'll see how it goes. Y'all keep your fingers crossed. We really, really like this one. <laughs> I know today Steve's doing the sea trial out in Florida. I sure wish I could be there. I know that boat is a lot of fun. We're calling it a BAB. It stands for Big Ass Boat. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's a 56 footer. Uh, we're not sure of the weight. <laughs> so, we know, we know it weighs between 40,000 and 52,000 pounds. Got a nice dinghy, 12 foot dinghy, got some solar panels, both hard and flexible. A huge walking deck that is just awesome. And this was obviously the sea trawl uh, before final acceptance on the boat. It has a Cummings uh, four cylinder diesel, it's turbo, it's putting now about a 150 horse. Uh, it is pushing the boat along pretty well and really at a fairly low RPM, I think. Uh, I don't know what red line is, but at 2100 RPM, we were doing eight knots. It was a calm day. Look at those davits. Dang. You've got davits. <laughs> Here we are pulling it out. We did have it surveyed. Uh, 
uh, this same manufacturer? Same manufacturer, yeah. Uh, circumnavigated, I think, uh, Well, this will be the new boat. This is supposedly the owner's cabin here. Has some pretty nice wood in it. Obviously it's dirty, neat stuff. If I walk in and turn, there's a head here. And then if I turn again to the other side, there's a separate shower stall. It's not bad, pretty big. shower curtains kind of in the way it's tied up so continuing on is the salon I have the engine room doors open this side is a little settee See if I can get back far enough. Uh, has a flat screen. It's 32 inch. Here's the nav station. Uh, several inflatable, still good, offshore life jackets. Has wind generator and solar. Has almost a thousand watts of solar, 400 watt wind generator. Moving to the other side is the uh, dinette, I guess. It has a fair amount of storage. Of course, the engine room will be nice. Have good access. Uh, it has a Cummings diesel and over on the side is a Northern Lights generator. So backing up a little bit, obviously companionway steps as we walk through. Make a right turn, left turn, and we're in this galley. There's a dehumidifier in the sink. Uh, you can see all the cleaning supplies I brought. Previous owner left some dishes, some vinegar, olive oil. So moving back, there's actually three cabins aft. I did want to show that there's another entrance. If you want to, I guess, have a private entrance, I don't know. I do like the fact that this boat has a brand new uh, Force 10 stove, oven, and a Vitra Frigo, <laughs> who knows if that's how you pronounce it, drawer refrigerator freezer. So I'm going to back up again into the galley a little bit, and try not to shake. So here's the first of the three cabins aft. This one 
might call the VIP guest. It has a separate head sink. And others a ditch bag and some other stuff, some cockpit cushions on this uh, bunk there. If turned a little bit, you actually go through another head sink. Maybe this is where you put guests you don't really like. <laughs> JK. Uh, here's a, another aft cabin, which you see on the bed is part of the full enclosure for the cockpit. I'm going to step in here. It's got a pretty nice closet. And then look back. So now we're exiting this area. Uh, this is a uh, closet straight ahead. And... It's fair size. Uh, it has some cedar in the back, and then there's shelving uh, on the side of that. And then we get to the third cabin that they actually call a crew cabin. It has bunkers in it, obviously being used as a garage. has some nice uh, rod and rails with it. And then here is a very large separate stall shower. I'm going to step in here and hang out. No pun intended. Definitely a two person shower which of course brings to mind some dirty thoughts. There will be a time when Karen and I are both really dirty and need to shower. So walking out back into the crew cabin with the bunkers, moving past one of the guest staterooms aft, walk through the head to get to it. And then here. And now walking back through the boat. Back into the salon. A little different angle.